everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to Mind Your Business. I am Ama Duncan, founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. I love to support the work of others through coaching, training, events, anything that we can do to help so that we can all create wealth and impact people. Mind Your Business is my weekly podcast. Here we get to talk about business our personal businesses or our entrepreneurship business, whichever it means to you. And, you know, the whole point is so that we can all create wealth and impact people. Today, I have a wonderful guest. This woman is amazing. I'm just talking about her. I'm all smiles because she just, she's, she has this vibe that will make you happy. She, she's surrounded by happiness. And so I'm going to talk about her shortly. But before then, hmm, have you got your tickets to the International Fabulous Women's Conference? It is happening and it's coming like kakai. <laughs> so 4th March to 7th March, right here in Ghana, Abu Abukesi in Kumasi. That's where Fabhab Ashanti is located. We're going to have some exciting stuff happening. We are starting with the Women Leaders Workshop on day one. Day two is the Fabulous Woman Speaks. We have all these speakers from Nigeria, Ghana, um, UK, US, Kenya coming over. And we are all joining just to network, share experiences, bond, and, you know, have a fantastic time. And then on the Sunday, we are giving back to the women in the Abu Kesi community. We are doing a health symposium for up to 100 of these women. There will be health screening, health talks, and some exciting stuff as well. Then we are going to end this fabulous conference with a tour. Oh my God, it's an adventure tour. Ladies, don't let anything stop you from missing this tour or any of the events that I've mentioned. You can sign up for all four days or you can do any of the days that you're available. And so actually, early bird discount is still, we, we extended it so it expires on 25th February. Um, if you're not in Ghana or if you're not able to join us in person, you can actually join days one and two. That's the workshop and the Fabulous Woman Speaks. You can join us virtually. So click on the link in the caption so that you can get all the information and sign up. We would love to see you. Now, to today's guest, her name is Nanekia Class Peters. So I'm going to read her bio. Anapia holds an advanced diploma in business management from the Association of Business Executives UK and a postgraduate certificate also in business management from the same school. She worked as the country director of Association of Business Executives, which is an international management examining body from 2008 to 2013. She also worked with the Ghana Employers Association as the coordinator for their industrial relations program from 2012. 2011 to 2013, and in August 2013, she registered and started the party crew as an event and tour firm, but now she mainly focuses on tours. She works fully as the Chief Operations Officer of the party crew, which is licensed by the Ghana Tourism Authority, and also a member of the, the Tour Operators Union of Ghana. She learns better through listening and observation that has created her interest in attending conferences and seminars, which also helps her to network. Anakia believes women in Ghana have part of the solution to Ghana's major challenge, which is leadership. Because women spend more time with children, they have the opportunity to teach them character, competence, and confidence. Due to this belief, she spent a lot of time with children to be able to impart their lives with these values. She also loves to connect with nature as that helps her to appreciate the creativeness of her Heavenly Father and get inspiration to be creative. Anika is also known as the Ghana Girl. She believes we should appreciate and patronize what we have here in Ghana in order to create more business and employment opportunities for youth of Ghana. So the Ghana girl sells Ghanaian art and prints to her tourists and friends. Her personal slogan is, let's work 
very hard and chill very hard. That is so Nanaikia. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this conversation. Thank you, Tichama. <laughs> you are the only one who calls me Tichama. Actually, no, I used to be called Tichama by a colleague when I was in corporate. But anyway, it is fine. It is fine. Uh-huh. So we know you as a class prefect of parties. Well, that's how I've, the phrase I've given to you. Because every time I've seen you, you are happy, you are cheerful, you are dancing, you are getting everybody to laugh. And it's so interesting that your business is called The Party Crew. Mm-hmm. I know a bit about the story of how you became CEO of The Party Crew. And I would love for you to share it with the world. How did you end up becoming the owner of The Party Crew? Ah. Wonderful question. And um, I'm glad to be here. I'm here to mind my business too. <laughs> so the party crew, how um, it came about, how I became the CEO of the party crew. Right from SHS, I I had this dream of becoming an entrepreneur, but I didn't know how. I didn't know which area, and and I just was thinking through it, but I didn't know how I was going to. But you know, you when I got this word entrepreneurship, and mm-hmm. when the teacher explained that you get to make the decisions and this and that, I just wanted to be one. Mm. And, uh, I didn't know what it entailed until. Until I I finally landed uh, with Party Crew, but this is how it started. I think mm-hmm. growing up, I wanted to have this work, which I will not go on retirement. So I wanted to do something that will make me work, work, work till I die. <laughs> and I realized that if I go into the government sector. It won't happen. I'll go on retirement. Mm. If I go into corporate institutions too. And so I wanted to do something by myself. Mm -hmm. And so I can work till I die. That's one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. Work till I die. And then number two, I want my children to start working by age 15. Mm. And I know no organization will give them that platform. Mm. So I have to create my business in order to give them that platform. Mm. And this is because I believe competency must be taught by mothers. Mm. It's, it is not taught at the school. We have to teach our children competence. Mm. So I think I have to have my business and then start teaching them from age 15. And then finally, right from childhood, I got this notion that, oh, you, you are so uh, patient with people, you always hang around people and you don't get angry and all that. So I also wanted to start my own business and test my people management skills if mm-hmm. I'm all that they are saying. So mm-hmm. these are the reasons why I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. But then, as I mentioned earlier, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. And so I started praying. Mm-hmm. I started praying and, and I, I was still not getting the direction until one day I went for our, we have an annual conference, Greater Works. I was, I went for one evening session and as the preacher was preaching, I was also getting the ideas. Mm -hmm. So the preacher was preaching his message and the ideas, including the name. So I, I never thought of going into tourism. Mm -hmm. I never had, I didn't plan it. I didn't even think about the name myself. Everything came and I wrote it down. Wow. And then afterwards, I went with a friend to that conference. So afterwards, I was telling my friend, you know, this is what I got whilst a bishop was preaching. And she was like, let's do it. I will help you do this. I will help you do that. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't even know any tourism center or site. (laughs) So how, where do I start from? And she was like, oh, I, I can start 
you know, I'm from Volta region. I can start taking you to some places. And then so we started from the Volta region. Mm. And my first trip was in 2013. Party crew started. And our first trip was in Willy Waterfalls. Mm. And that, my friend, really, really, really helped me. Mm. So this is how I became the CEO of the party crew. I call it divine orchestration. Fantastic. And I love it. I love, I mean, it's such a beautiful story of how you got the inspiration and you run with it. And God also gave you the resource to start. So, you know, when you were speaking, you said, oh, I didn't know what entrepreneurship entails. Now, I mean, you've been doing this since 2013, right? Yes, please. Tell us, how has the experience been? I mean, from when you started the early stages, just, I know it's been long, but just summarize it for us. How has the experience been for you? For me, it's been wonderful. It's been a learning experience. And then it's, it's, <laughs> it's also been challenging and it has stretched me. Mm. And then it has also made me realize some potentials that I've had I didn't know. Mm. So that is how it's been. It's been ups and downs. I wanted to quit at a point, I think from 2014 up to 2017. Mm-hmm. I I didn't do much. I really wanted to quit. And um, thankfully, something happened and I needed to run some tours for uh, some uh, guys in the diaspora. I don't mean to and, cut you, but I need to cut you. Can you give us a brief of why you wanted to quit this particular time? Okay. I, I was frustrated. Mm-hmm. First, I wanted to get my tourism license from the tourism authority and the process was very frustrating Mm. number two my target market when I got the vision Mm -hmm. uh, you know it was that direct vision my target market was professionals living in Ghana so Mm -hmm. they were my target market Mm -hmm. professionals living in Ghana I started going in to companies with proposals and all that and no no response. Mm-hmm. And so that also got me frustrated. Mm-hmm. And then I also thought, oh, I have a big network. A lot of people know me. So mm-hmm. even if the corporate people are not calling me, I know a lot of people I can just design packages and reach out to them to come and patronize. And they were all failing me. So mm. these are the reasons why I, I got frustrated and then I decided to quit. Mm. But what happened was that the more I want to quit, mm-hmm. the more I become restless. I see. I, so I, I, I even went into another business, gold business. Mm. But... This party crew will not let me rest. Mm -hmm. So um, I was just looking for ways to come back. And then I thought of getting a partner, another tour company to partner with. A tour company that has a license Mm -hmm. to partner with. So that when I get clients, I I just, I can run things uh, with them. I got one. And then along the line, one of my um, clients in the state Mm -hmm. said whatever to them and they got angry. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Whatever. So that statement, whatever. So Mm -hmm. they they got angry and and then they they backed out. So I was alone. And, And that particular trip, it was 2018. I had to do it myself alone. So after doing that trip, the feedback I got from the client made me start thinking that this is really your thing. Because the feedback was over 100%, like positive. Mm. And, and I started thinking, this might be something God is calling you to do. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you go back to it fully again. But I was also thinking about tourism authorities' frustration. And so (laughs) I was just thinking through. And then 
I started praying whether to continue or not to continue. Then 2019, I got another group. Mm. And that one went, it's it's even went better than the first group. Mm. So after the second group, then I was like, this has to continue. I have to continue this particular uh, business. I, I don't have to quit, but how do I go on? So I wasn't sure. I started praying. And then whenever I pray, mm-hmm. after praying, I will hear Amma Duncan, talk mm-hmm. to Amma Duncan. And Amma Duncan, is, she's not my friend. Mm-hmm. I was just following her on Facebook. I know nothing about her. But then anytime after praying, talk to Amma Duncan will come to my mind. And uh I'll just brush it aside. <laughs> and I'm like, how do I talk to her? Do I send her Facebook uh, message, uh, message on Facebook uh, Messenger? Mm-hmm. I, I was just uh, thinking and didn't know what to do. So I just brushed it aside. But God made it way. God um, made it possible for me to meet her, Madame Khan. And my first meeting with her uh, for a retreat, strategic retreat. Mm -hmm. That was when I made a firm firm decision that uh, party crew is going to go on. Mm -hmm. So this is how the journey has been. Wow. This bold-headed girl, Amadanka. Oh, yes. Well, to God be all the glory. And yeah, um, she is the answer to my prayer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, I know you've cut the story short, but thank you. And I know there's somebody probably listening and hopefully if they're also having their own challenges. I, I pray that through your interview, they are ministered to in whatever way, you know. So yeah. Nani, you are in tourism. You've been sending people all over showing off Ghana and I, you have a beautiful vision. I mean, I like the way you show off Ghana. Like you make Ghana so, can I use the word sexy? Yeah, like that's really yeah. the word that comes to yeah. mind. It's not in yeah. a, it's a negative, you know, it's not a negative way. <laughs> and well, a couple of years ago, something called COVID, somebody said COVID one night, <laughs> just decided to come and disrupt the way things are done. How has this impacted your business? Hmm. It it has impacted my business positively and then negatively too. Mm. Negatively because, as I mentioned earlier, my targets were professionals living in Ghana. They were not forthcoming. So Mm. I started (laughs) looking elsewhere. And actually it was an idea from my best friend, mm. and now my husband, who oh. suggested that... Then wait, do you realize mm-hmm. nobody knows outside of your small circle that somebody is now your husband? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first time that you announce it on this show. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, keep talking. <laughs> okay, so uh, my bestie, my bestie then... Mm. Uh, so also when I wanted to quit she, he was also on my case that um, I think you 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 are made for this don't stop mm. and uh, I, I wasn't listening to him but mm. then finally when I made the decision he said he will he will find a way of bringing people from where he is mm. to Ghana mm. so I should just put the packages together Hmm. He will market it there and bring me the people. Mm-hmm. So we went into that. I got the first batch. I got the second batch. So the first batch came in 2018. Second batch came 2019. They came from Bermuda. Hmm. Then the third batch, 2020, I had two different batches. And the group was, they were excited. And it was a big group. Hmm. They were coming. And all preparations were done. Most of them have made payments and all that. And then COVID came. Mm. So they couldn't come. Uh, Some of them requested a refund. Mm. Some, I'm still keeping their money still now. Wow. They are still waiting for things to calm down and then they can come. Mm. 
So mm-hmm. since 2020, they are, their monies are still with us. So what happened was that when COVID came, the negative impact is now my people were not coming. Mm-hmm. The whole of 2020, no tourists, no activities for the party crew. Mm-hmm. So it really affected us. And I have three staff. Mm-hmm. And so I needed to support them financially too because uh, <laughs> it was tough time. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, this is how it affected us negatively in terms of our revenue. Mm. Our people were not coming, especially the people in the diaspora. They were not coming. 2021, uh, most of them wanted to come. Just as when they want to come, the numbers will rise. Mm. And then um, a lot of, you know, the restrictions. Mm -hmm. So um, they couldn't come last year also. So it has, it really affected our revenue. That was the negative impact. But the positive is that, I wasn't on social media. I wasn't, my social media presence was like uh, 5%. Mm. So during the COVID time, I was I was mostly, you know, at that time, lockdown and all that, we were all going online. We were all going on to social media platforms to check what's happening. Mm-hmm. And then Amadan Duncan started some sessions on social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Facebook Live, I was listening, enjoying. Sometimes um, she would bring others on board and they started talking about um, the need for us to market our services on social media and our products on social media. And so I, I started posting things. I was just throwing things there. Mm-hmm. Then um, you organized, Ahmad organized um, some Instagram for beginners mm. and I joined our class and it's really helped me and that has also made me consistent mm. you know consistently I'm posting on Instagram and then I'm posting on Facebook and then as I keep doing I'm getting better mm. and so um, the positive impact is it has increased our uh, presence on social media mm. and then it is also helping us to brand ourselves well mm. because now social media is the world mm. that is where people will go to find you so you have to present yourself well there so um it's it has helped me in that direction and then it has also helped me to go back to the target market i neglected mm. in ghana because now the foreigners are not really coming so you have to look within. So I have to now find ways, strategize in such a way that I'll be able to get the attention of the target market. And so I, due to that, I had to join Amma Duncan's uh, Fabulous Women Mastermind group. And, and it's also helping me to reach out to my target group. So this is how the COVID affected our business, the party crew. Mm. I see. Interesting there. Well done too with your visibility, you know, and then for we, the audience, we get to enjoy your moves and your takrabi skills and all that. So Mm -hmm. it's a win-win for all of us. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now, as you you know, majority of the women in our network are business women just like yourself. What lessons... um, did you, or can you glean from your experience, especially over the COVID-19 season, that you can share with us to help us? Hmm. Well, my major lesson is <laughs> no one knows tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no one knows tomorrow. So uh, um, if you have, something to do today you do your best no one knows tomorrow because we didn't plan for covid and all that but it just came and and the grace sustained us so uh, we thank god for grace but then once we do not know tomorrow i i will i always think we try to do whatever we have to do today make good use of the day the Lord has blessed us with. So we should just try. It's not difficult. uh, Sorry, it's not easy. 
but then we can. It's something we can. So let's all try to utilize whatever resources available to us. And most importantly, let's be consistent. Let's be consistent on social media. I I know a lot of my colleagues, uh, we are all on social media. We post, post, post consistently <laughs> for six months and we are not getting response and we quit. Yeah. We shouldn't quit. We shouldn't quit. We should just keep keeping on and then seek help to strategize. You know, we are in, I am in Fabulous Women Network. I'm also in ladies, Leading Ladies Network, mm. class uh, Career Women Network. A lot of women network groups are there. Seek help yeah. and strategize and keep going. Don't quit. When you get tired, rest small, be rest small, be. This is Ghanaian English, rest small, be. <laughs> and continue. Yeah. Come and seek help from other women and, and then let's continue. This is what I, I can say. Mm. Well done. Thank you. It's true. No one knows tomorrow. I like that. And of course, seeking help. Nobody is an island. We all need support so that's very yeah. good thank you now you promised you mentioned to me that um you're going to share some tips about how to have a lasting relationship i mean let me just say this um let me put you on the spot and just say to the public that so it turns out that you actually went to school with my mom so you and my mom knew each other longest even before you got to know me and you didn't know that we, we were related and you've been friends with my mom for god god knows how long you know so i know that when it comes to building and sustaining relationships you are really good i'm so happy you promised to share some tips so please tell us how do we maintain you know or build lasting relationships with people mm. Amma, once you've mentioned your mom, let me say something, just a little. Mm. You know, your mom, I, I didn't know she was your mom, but she's somebody I can talk to at any time, any day, about anything. Mm. And she will not judge you. She won't judge you. She will just advise you. Uh, with The advice will come with some little insult. <laughs> That's I was expecting that. <laughs> It will come with some little insults and, and she will encourage you. Don't, don't give up. Don't be, and she'll go like, don't be a weakling. <laughs> so oh you are stronger than this. And, and go out there and do it. Hmm. And then make it, you will make it. So, <laughs> Amma, you have an amazing mom. I don't know if the kind of vibe she gives to me is the same vibe she gives to you. But oh, I'm, I'm so sure. When I'm, I'm sure. down. When I'm down and I want to call somebody and laugh, I'll call Auntie Abba. Oh, the first yes, person yes. to call. <laughs> so the relationship bit. And this one, it's it will sound funny, but I want our listeners to take it very serious. I hear the saying. Most of the time, women are own enemies. Mm -hmm. Women are weak. Uh, women are not emotionally strong. They are not emotionally stable. When I when I hear this, <laughs> this I'm like, is it really true? I don't think it is. So I think it's opinions. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I think women, we are not weak. We are emotionally strong. We are spiritually strong. Mentally, we are strong. But then our challenge is how to categorize our relationships. Mm. We don't categorize it in a way that um, will benefit us. So sometimes you meet people, they are nice, and then because they are nice and they offered you some help or they appeared in a certain way you liked, so quickly you embrace them and you put them in your inner circle mm. without taking time to know them well. Relationship must grow. Mm -hmm. You don't just pick people from here, class one, and promote them to 
level level 300 <laughs> no so it must grow so you meet people take it easy be nice relate to them yes go according to the flow but don't jump too quickly yeah and come and say women are bad we are not bad sometimes we don't know how to manage us so people who are not supposed to be in your heart you place them in your heart and then they give you heartbreak. Hmm. It is not fine. People who are supposed to be in your intestines <laughs> so that if something happens, you can flash them quickly. You put them in your heart. And those who are supposed to be in their heart, you put them in their intestines. Yeah. No. Know how to categorize your relationship. No where to place who we have our families children spouses parents siblings friends co-workers and all that we should learn to categorize them in a way that we won't come back and say negative because for me i've had friends even my childhood friends are still my friends mm. Uh, I don't lose friends. And I always say, I think I'm just blessed because my my friends are super. They are amazing. Mm. If, whenever I go into a gathering and people are sharing negative stories about friends, I'm speech, I don't have anything to mm. say. Mm. Right. Uh-huh. And I think it's because the Lord has helped me to be able to categorize and know where to place who. Mm. So I am of the view that we should all learn, take it easy whenever we meet people. Mm. But we shouldn't also be afraid to network. Mm -hmm. We should really network, broaden our circle. Don't go by the saying, throw nipper. Mm -hmm. If you throw nipper, who are you going to play with? Mm -hmm. Who are you going to sell to? So don't throw nipper. But... Learn to manage people, learn to categorize and then know where to place all of us well. And then I know a lot of the people in the fabulous women community will be listening. Mm -hmm. You know, I am your class prefect. Categorize me properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ma'am, please, are you done? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Ladies, your class P has spoken. Now, speaking of class P, on mm -hmm. the fourth day of the International Fabulous Women's Conference, you and the party crew, you have an mm -hmm. amazing adventure tour plan for us. Me, I'm going to get my shorts. Um, how do you call mm -hmm. them? shorts? Uh, hot pants. Maybe yes. I, should, I should ask you to bring one from Accra for me. Some blue. Oh, yeah. oh, as, as I'm on the zip line, I have to mm -hmm. know how beautiful my thighs are and not get scared. So that is my motivation. <laughs> so tell us, what should we expect on day four of the International Fabulous Women's Conference? Oh, great. Ama and your whole team, I thank you for this opportunity to be part of Fabulous International Fabulous Women's Conference 2022. I'm so honored to be part. And the day four adventure, we are going to Bonsu Eco Park. Um, as I said, um, women, we are not weak. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, we are not weak. So whatever we set our minds to do, we can do. And what adventure does is that it helps you to conquer your fears. Yeah. And so people who say women, they are so fearful, they can't even kill a snake. And they said that, you know, let's show them. Mm. Let's show them. Oh my God. Do you know what we I'm thinking going, about? <laughs> we are going <laughs> to go to Echo Park to do. Oh <laughs> yeah, let me pause you. Do you know what just came to mind? Us on the vault out lake going round the pond in second. That was the day the spirit of fear 
you know, departed from my soul and never came back. <laughs> that trip, <laughs> that trip of survival, I don't know. It was really a blessing. And I, it also really helped me with my work. Before that trip, I was more into sightseeing and recreational tours. But after that trip, I had the confidence to do adventure. And I'm telling you, in my line of work, I enjoy adventure than all others. Mm. So we, we we have sightseeing, we have recreational tours, we have uh, heritage tours, we have uh, educational tours. Mm. But my best is the adventure because things that you think you can't do, or oh, I'm afraid, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you would do them afraid. And afterwards, you realize, oh, I'm a conqueror. Yeah. So even when you are afraid, do it afraid. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards, what next? And you bring this same mentality into your business. There are certain things you have to do. You think, oh, as for this, we can't do it. As for this person, oh, we can't, we can't meet him or her. We don't even know what to present. But... It's one step at a time. So we are going there to crown our conference Mm -hmm. with some activities Mm -hmm. that will be an icing on all the learning. Mm -hmm. You know, as we are coming together, we are coming to learn, share experiences and all that. Mm -hmm. After all that we are coming to learn, then we go to the Bonsu Eco Park. Mm-hmm. And then we, we, we give it some icing. Yeah. And the icing is that we are going to do things we think we can't do. Mm-hmm. And we will take that same mentality to our homes and to our business. Mm-hmm. So on the 4th, sorry, on the 7th of um, March, mm-hmm. the program actually starts on the 4th of March. And then on the 7th is the talk. Yeah. Oh, any fabulous women listening to me. Don't miss this opportunity. Come for the conference and join the tour. And afterwards, you will do great and mighty things. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so you are taking us to Bonsu and then when Bonsu. we come to um, Kumase. Yeah, we'll, yes, we'll do Bonsu. And then when we are coming back, we'll go to Bonre mm-hmm. so that people will get to see where their beautiful Kente clothes mm-hmm. come from. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go to Ntonso, Edinkra village, mm-hmm. and then we'll see how the Edinkra signs are made. And we are going to do, try it by ourselves and, and have our own designs and take it to our homes. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I look forward to this. This is, this is exciting. Now, yeah. I know that apart from the upcoming tour, you also have another tour. So you have tours back to back. Tell us about mm-hmm. the girls. Um, what was the name again? Girls? Girls Camping 2022. Yes, that's the word I was trying to, Girls Camping. Tell us. Camping. So, Girls Camping, right after our FAB conference, the following weekend is Girls Camping 2022, 11th mm-hmm. of March to 13th March. 11th is Friday. Mm-hmm. So, we leave our car on Friday for Keta. Mm-hmm. And then we return on Sunday. The activities are mind blowing. Mm. Girl camping is one of our um, programs. Our we have annual programs, and the first one we do every year is the girls camping. Mm-hmm. And so this is going to be the third one. The third, uh, yeah, the third session. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been amazing so far, but this year it's going to be bigger, better, greater. Amen. Of where we are taking our sisters to. Mm-hmm. Women, we work, 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 work. And sometimes we forget that we have to take a break, refuel, and come and continue. Taking a break is also necessary. And taking a break does not mean going for funeral. Some people think <laughs> resting is when I attend that funeral, at least I'll be out of the house and I can rest more. Mm-hmm. Funeral is not a place of rest. <laughs> so go for 
a proper retreat mm. where you connect with yourself, connect with nature, and connect with other women. Mm. Sometimes it's good to meet other women and then and then you know hear their stories and be encouraged. And so, and then you also broaden your network as well. I know we are all trying to keep um, a close circle and we are being careful. But then sometimes you need some fresh blood. Mm -hmm. For me, it has worked for me. At a point in time, I really needed some fresh blood in order to go on with my business, Mm -hmm. with my family life and everything. And thanks be to God, I got that through networking from Amadankan's platform, Yahweh's platform, and mm-hmm. other fabulous women. Mm-hmm. So it's good that sometimes we do something different from our regular routine mm-hmm. and then connect with ourselves, take care of ourselves, because we have to be fine. You have to be fine in order to take care of all the other. Uh, agendas, the family, the business, and everything. So take care of you, and then you can take care of all the others. Mm-hmm. So it's time to take care of us. We want to go and pamper you. For party crew, when we take you on a trip, it is all about pampering. Mm-hmm. We give you enough time to rest. We give you real pampering. And then as well, we help you to connect with other women. So the activities, we have sightseeing, we have photo shoot sessions. So if you want to come, you come with whatever clothes you want to do your shoot with. We have a makeup artist on board to make you up and make you look all fabulous for your photo shoot. We have professional photographer to take all the pictures you want to take so that you can have some exciting pictures on your phone and from time to time can just admire yourself and just tap yourself and say, ah, I'm beautiful, Mm -hmm. I'm fabulous, I can go on. So if you are a fabulous woman out there listening to me, just join join the Girls Camp in 2022. You will have an everlasting excitement. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Thank you so, so much. Now, you've shared a lot and we are happy, but I cannot let you go yet. I have Mm -hmm. some questions that I'm going to ask you. Kindly answer as quickly as possible with a short phrase or sentence so you fill in the blank for me. So the first one is, if I could advise my younger self in one short sentence, I would say... Read. Hmm. Period. (laughs) Full stop. Love it. I am fabulous because? Ah, Because I am happy when other ladies are succeeding. Mm. Mm. Fabulous. Then one book that has greatly helped me in business is? Beyond the Rivers of Ethiopia by Dr. Menso Togo. Mm. Thank you. Now I'm going to have to find it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I love Dr. Mensa Otabil. There there were times that I used to listen to him on Love FM. I think every noon he, and then I would just pause and listen to him, his wisdom and how he uses the Old Testament and it makes Mm -hmm. so much sense. Oh, that man Mm -hmm. is blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Just reminded me of how much I love listening to him. (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh and you mentioned greater work so that's his um th- that's your church right yes yeah, your church is icgc ah fantastic yes. great 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 now before we allow you to go madam how do mm-hmm. we find you so that we can grab you and enjoy all your various packages and campaign and stuff okay so i am um... The Celebrity Tour Guide. I'm everywhere. Hallelujah. Always trending. The Celebrity Tour Guide. So go to Facebook, search for The Party Crew, Mm. The Party Crew, Mm. and you will find me there. Instagram, we are The Party Crew GH. 
the party crew with GH on Instagram. Mm. So Facebook and Instagram for now. Fabulous. We are, yeah, we are working on our YouTube and then we are also working on our website. I'm imagining you dancing on YouTube and all that. Being just... Oh, <laughs> Amma, you'll be smiling. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Nanekia, thank you so, so much. You're amazing and you're doing a great job. And it's exciting that God gave you this vision and you are still running with it. You are not giving up. I mean, I think that's the best sure banker you need, that the fact that God himself told you to do it, you know, that is like, that. that is really helpful. So I'm wishing you the very, 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 very best. And I look forward to seeing you as we party, I already have some ideas of the interview. I'll tell you some things that we'll do quietly at Spark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so Wonderful. much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for so having much. me, Amma. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. You are you are an apostle of our time. You are, you are an apostle of women in business. And so thank you for this opportunity. And to every woman out there, if you need help, look for help. And most importantly, look for Amadan Khan. Well, how was that interview? She is amazing, isn't she? And all these experiences, she's, you know, as she was talking about the trip, the adventure trip, and my mind went over to the last adventure trip we had. I mean, I still think I was I'm like, oh my God, did I really do that? Did I really kayak on the Volta Lake? Like that was the scariest thing I believe I've ever done. Maybe I've done others, but they don't come to mind. But you know, it's true what Nanipia said about fear. I did that thing afraid. <laughs> I mean, I'm afraid of deep water. I don't even go to the deep end of a pool, right? I'm afraid of heights. You know, we did up sailing on one of such trips. I mean, and being on this large, ginormous Volta Lake, it was actually the gorge of Volta Lake. Like, it's, it was crazy. But then I was able to overcome that fear. And it's true what Nanipia said. I think that these are things that I've applied even in business sometimes doing some things or approaching people that should really put the fear of God into me. But I'm like, oh, you know, I can do it. And so it's really important, such activities, such adventures, they really bring out what's really in us, the strength that we don't think we have. It comes out and we are able to apply that. So, yeah, I want to encourage you to come along. You know, don't, I know some of you are, planning to join the conference and you're like, oh, I'll do day one to three or days one to three, you know, oh, I can't do day four and you're giving all sorts of excuses. Listen, woman, come, let's go. You will not die. You will be fine. You will only overcome your fear and we will all be fine. Look, even me as I'm doing jab, 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 only God knows, (laughs) but I will do it because the Lord gives us strength, right? So I look forward to seeing you. I've put in the chat um, and in the, in the caption, you'll find links to join the International Fabulous Women's Conference and also the girls' campaign that Nane Pierce, um, the party crew, is organizing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this, if you've had any lessons, don't forget to share in the comments. And also, please share this video with others.